Today we're going to address some questions that were raised in response to my last chapel. 那今天我們會回答一些上次不會提出的一些問題。And these questions regard the human soul and spirit. 這些問題是關於人的心靈和靈魂。One of your fellow students submitted several very astute questions, I think. 那其中一位我們的同學他就交了一些比較幾好的問題。the first question is this, the Bible teaches the tripartite view of man. He's composed of body, soul, and spirit. How should we biblically understand what happened to the human spirit after the fall and also after regeneration by the Holy Spirit when one puts his or her faith in Christ. And the second question addresses two particular scriptures. In view of the answer to question one, how should we correctly interpret verses like Psalm 23, verse 3, and Psalm 19, verse 7, which seem to suggest that the human soul or spirit is dead or asleep before regeneration? And the third question focuses on sanctification. How much emphasis should we put on the free will of the regenerated human spirit with regard to the work of the indwelling Holy Spirit in our sanctification and conformity to the image of Christ? These are excellent questions. And the first step to finding answers will be to go back to the events of Genesis chapter 2 and 3, where we're going to consider two foundational matters. First, what were the conditions of man before and after the fall? And secondly, what is the meaning of death in God's warning in Genesis 2.17? Well, let's consider conditions before the fall. I'll read to you Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and 27, and then chapter 2, verse 7. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. Now the key idea here is that God made man in his image. 
。咁啊，呢度嘅關鍵咧就係神咧係按著佢嘅形象去做人。Let's consider what this means。咁我哋去誒諗下呢個意思係乜嘢咧 ？First, it means that man is a personal being like God。咁第一就係人咧就同神一樣係一個有位格嘅存在。He has intellect, emotions, and will. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of right and wrong. He has a moral sense of It has to do with what man is. 咁係關乎人係啲乜嘢。And then we see that man does things that are similar to the things that God does. 然之後你睇得到咧，人咧係會做一啲同神誒相似會做嘅嘢。We human beings relate. We form relationships. 我哋人咧就中意同人有關係咯。我哋會建立關係。We create. 我哋會創造。We make things. Or they will make things. Now, the things that we make, we make out of other things that exist already. So we make things. 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 You might prefer the phrase "man rules." 咁你可能會比較誒中意統治呢個字。Man exercises authority. 人咧就係會去去實行呢個嘅誒權柄啦。And we can call this the functional image of God. 我哋會叫呢個叫做神功能上嘅形象。It focuses on what man does. 咁咧就係關乎人去做嘅嘢。Now let's take a closer look at man's constitution. What is man made up of? 咁我哋依家去仔細睇清楚啲人嘅組成，人係有乜嘢組成出嚟嘅咧 ？A number of different passages in the Bible speak of this. 咁好多經文都係會講到呢一點嘅。Genesis 2:7 says, "And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being." 創世記二章七節。耶和華神用地上的塵土造人，將生氣吹在他鼻孔裏，他就成了有靈的活人。First Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty three says this: Now may the God of peace Himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 帖撒羅尼加前書五章二十三節。愿赐平安的神亲自使你们全然成圣，又愿你们的灵与魂与身子得蒙保守，在我主耶稣基督降临的时候，完全无可指责。Hebrews 4:12 makes an interesting distinction。咁希伯来书四章十二节咧，做一个好有趣嘅分别。For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the division of soul and spirit of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Sorry, 神的道是活泼的，是有功效的，比一切两刃的剑更快，甚至灵与魂、骨节与骨髓都能切入，剖开连心中的思念和主意都能辨明。Now in Revelation chapter six verse nine. We get a glimpse into heaven where we see tribulation martyrs. 咁去到啟示錄六章九節咧，我哋係睇到好似有偷雞睇得到誒，第時大災難嘅殉道者。When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. 揭開第五印的時候，我看見在祭壇底下有為神的道，並為作見證被殺之人的靈魂。And now consider First Corinthians chapter five, verse five. 然之後考慮一下，誒，哥林多前書第五章第五節。Paul is talking about church discipline. 
咁保罗喺呢度系讲紧教会几个。And he says, "Deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus." 要把这样的人交给撒旦，败坏他的肉体，使他的灵魂在主耶稣的日子可以得救。Now we can gather the information from all of these verses together and draw some conclusions. 咁从呢啲经文咧，我哋可以归纳出一一啲结论。First, man has the breath of life. 咁第一就係人咧係有誒生氣啦。In that sense, he is like other living creatures. 咁喺呢一點咧，佢就同其他嘅活物係相似嘅。Man has three parts. 人咧係有三部分。Spirit, soul, and body. 身、心、靈。Now, the word soul, psuche, and the word spirit, pneuma. Are sometimes used interchangeably in the New Testament. 咁喺新約入邊咧，誒靈心靈誒 suke 呢個字同埋 numa 靈魂呢個字咧，有時係互相替代咁樣去用嘅。They are both used to describe the part of a human being that survives physical death. 咁兩個字咧都會去用到去形容人身體死亡之後繼續流傳嗰一部分。But Hebrews chapter four tells us that there's some sense in which they are distinguishable. 咁但係希伯來書四章十二節咧，話俾我哋聽喺某一種程度上咧，佢哋係可以被分別出嚟嘅。I'm not sure I can tell you what that is. 咁我唔肯定我可以話俾你聽呢個分別係乜嘢。And again, we see that both the human spirit and the human soul survive after physical death. 咁再一次，我哋係睇得到人嘅心靈同埋靈魂。都喺肉身死亡之後咧，係繼續存留嘅。That's why we say that we have an immortal soul and spirit。咁所以我哋就會話，我哋有一個不朽嘅心靈。Well, let's go back now to Genesis chapter two and the fall。咁我哋依家翻翻去創世記二章同埋人類墮落。Take a look at the command that God gave to Adam before Eve was created。咁我哋睇下。神喺創造亞夏娃之前俾到亞當嘅命令。He said, "Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die." 耶和華神吩咐他說：園中各樣樹上的果子你可以隨意吃，只是分別善惡樹上的果子你不可吃，因為你吃的日子必定死。And then let's consider part of the story that we all know from Genesis chapter three. 然之後我哋睇一睇我哋大家都好熟悉嘅誒故事啦，係創世記第三章。So when the woman saw, and there's a description of what she saw, I'll skip over that. She took its fruit and ate. 咁當女人見到佢見到嘅嘢之後咧，我哋會跳過佢見到乜啦？跟住佢就攞咗個誒果實食咗。She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. 又給她丈夫，她丈夫也吃了。Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. 他們二人的眼睛就明亮了，才知道自己是赤身露體，便拿無花果樹的葉子為自己編作裙子。And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. 那人和他妻子就藏在園裏的樹木裏。Now remember what God said。咁記得神講咗啲乜嘢 ？He said, "In the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die." 佢話：因為你吃的日子必定死。Now here's where we have to be careful。咁喺呢度咧，我哋要小心。We must form our understanding of death. From God's warning and the consequences that followed the couple's disobedience. 咁我哋去理解死亡咧，一定要係誒講到神俾個命令啦，同埋佢哋觸犯咗神嘅命令之後嘅後果。Now, biblically speaking, the essence of death is separation or alienation. 咁從聖經去睇咧。
，死亡嘅定義其實係分離或者係疏離。Think about what happened immediately after Adam and Eve ate the fruit。咁你諗翻當亞當夏娃誒食咗個果實之後發生乜事 ？Adam and Eve were alienated from each other。亞當同夏娃咧就彼此分離、疏離。Before they were perfectly comfortable being fully open to each other. 原先佢哋係對大家好舒服啦，即係乜都開放啦。But now they cover themselves. 而家就要遮住啦。Adam and Eve were alienated from God. 阿當同夏娃咧，同神都係疏離。Now they hide from Him in fear. 而家咧就要去出於恐懼去匿埋。And the process which would separate their souls and spirits from their bodies began. 而令到佢哋身體同埋靈魂分開嗰個過程咧，都開始咗。Here I'm talking about physical corruption. 咁但係呢度我係講緊肉體嘅腐敗。And ultimately, physical death. 咁最終就係肉體嘅死亡。Maybe Eve looked in the mirror that day and noticed her first wrinkle. 咁可能夏娃咧嗰日就望住塊鏡，跟住睇到自己第一條皺紋。Now God kept His promise。咁神咧係 keep 住佢嘅承諾嘅。He said that in the day that you eat of it, you will surely die。佢就話咧，因為你死的日，你吃的日子必定死。And properly understood, death did come to man on the very day of the fall。咁正確咁理解咧，死亡真係喺墮落嗰日嚟到人間。Well, with that foundation behind us, let's address our first question. 咁我哋有呢個根基之後咧，我哋就去睇翻第一條問題。Again, the Bible teaches the tripartite view of man. 咁聖經咧教導人類係有三個部分組成啦。He's composed of body, soul, and spirit. 佢係由心、心靈組成。How should we biblically understand what happened to the human spirit after the fall, and also after regeneration by the Holy Spirit? When one puts his trust in Christ, 咁我哋點我哋點樣應該點樣去合聖經咁去理解人類嘅靈魂喺墮之後發生咗誒乜嘢嘅變化啦？而當一個人將信心擺喺耶穌裏邊，佢嘅靈魂受重誒聖靈嘅重生之後，又會發生乜嘢嘅變化咧 ？Let's do this systematically. 咁我哋用一個有系統嘅方法去處理。We're going to look at various things before the fall. 我哋會睇啊一大扎墮落之前嘅事啦。After the fall. 墮落之後。After regeneration. 同埋重生之後。In other words, for a saved person. 即係得救嘅人啦。And then after glorification, after we get our resurrection bodies. 同埋得榮耀之後一啲嘅誒誒關鍵嘅問題。Well, let's start by considering God's image. 咁首先我哋去考慮一下神嘅形象。Before the fall, the image of God in Adam and Eve was accurate。咁墮落之前咧，亞當同夏娃有完美嘅神嘅形象。But after the fall, the image was marred。咁但係墮落之後咧，呢個形象咧就受虧損。Now we know that the image of God in man is not erased due to sin。咁我哋知道人喺神喺人裏邊嘅形象咧，喺犯罪之後唔係被剷除嘅。We know that from Genesis chapter nine, where God says you must not murder because man bears God's image。咁我哋點樣知道咧？就係喺創世記第九章，神話不可謀殺，因為人咧係有神嘅形象。There are still many ways in which you can see qualities of God in fallen people. 咁就算喺墮落嘅人類當中咧，我哋都可以有好多方面睇得到神嘅形象。But every one of those qualities is affected by our sinfulness。咁但係每一個呢啲嘅素質咧，都係俾我哋嘅罪性去影響嘅。And we call that total depravity。咁我哋稱呢一樣嘢為完全墮落。Well, what happens after a sinful person gets saved？ 咁但係當一個有罪嘅人，得救之後發生乜事咧 ？He still carries a marred image of God。咁佢都係有一個虧損咗嘅神嘅形象。But if he or she cooperates with God in the process of sanctification, he begins to look more like God。咁但係如果佢願意同神
喺成聖呢個過程當中合作咧，佢就會越嚟越同神嘅形象相似。Now, one day when we leave behind our sinful nature and we get our resurrection bodies, our the image that we portray of God will be fully accurate. 咁當我哋誒離開呢個肉身嘅身體，得到德榮耀嘅身體之後咧，我哋嘅神嘅形象咧就會係完全係準確完美。Let's consider the body now. 咁我哋依家去考慮一下身體。Before the fall, the bodies of Adam and Eve were flawless. 咁墮落之前咧，亞當同夏娃嘅身體係完美嘅。And presumably, if the, their bodies had been damaged, they would have healed perfectly. 咁假如佢哋嘅身體係受傷啦，我哋會假設應該係可以完美地復合好翻。But after the fall, their bodies began to corrupt. 咁但係喺墮落之後咧。佢哋嘅身體就開始敗壞啦。The process of physical death began。死亡，肉身死亡呢個進程咧開始咗。It's interesting to think about babies, isn't it？ 咁我哋即係諗 B B 有時都幾有趣。When a healthy baby comes out of the womb, you look at it and in every way, it's perfect。咁當一個健康嘅 B B 從母胎生出嚟嘅時候咧，你點樣睇咧都好似好完美咁樣。But in reality, the process of death has already begun. 咁但係其實現實上咧，死亡呢個進程係已經開始咗啊。Mortal life is a terminal disease. 凡人嘅生命咧係一個絕症嚟嘅。But what about after regeneration? 咁重生之後咧 ，nothing changes, unfortunately. 咁可惜冇嘢係會改變。The day I got saved, I was already getting thin on top. 咁我得救嗰日咧，我上邊都係冇頭髮啦。And I lose more hair every year. 每一日都會，每一年咧都會越嚟越少頭髮。But after we get our resurrection bodies, our bodies will be incorruptible. 咁但係當我哋得到我哋復活嘅身體之後咧，我哋嘅身體咧係會係不朽壞嘅。And I'm looking forward to that. 咁我係好期待。And as many of you have heard me say, I have a big question. 咁好多你都聽過啦，我有一個好大嘅問題。Will my resurrection body have hair？ 我復活嘅身體會唔會有頭髮咧 ？All right, well let's consider next the soul and the spirit。咁跟住咧，我哋就去考慮心心靈心靈。Before the fall, Adam and Eve's soul and spirit were walking in fellowship with God。咁喺墮落之前咧，亞當同埋夏娃嘅心靈咧都係同神有交通。But as a result of the fall。They were alienated from God. 咁但係因為墮落咧，佢哋就同神疏離。Now when a person comes to Christ, his soul and spirit are now redeemed. 咁當一個人得救之後咧，佢嘅心靈咧都係被誒擺熟。And believers like us, we walk in what I would call variable fellowship with God. 咁我哋信徒咧。啊、um, ，我哋就會同神嘅交通咧係有誒、uh, 變動嘅。When we're walking in a godly way without unconfessed sin, we have a high degree of fellowship with God。咁當我哋係一個敬虔嘅誒方法去生活啦，又冇一啲未認嘅罪啦，我哋同神嘅交通咧就係、是、比較高嘅程度。And when we fall into sin, our fellowship with God is reduced。咁當我哋跌落罪裏邊嘅時候咧，我哋同神嘅交通咧就都會係誒減少。But we can always be restored to fellowship with Him by following the instructions of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. 咁但係如果你跟隨約翰一書一章九節嘅誒指引咧，我哋就可以同神嗰個交通咧係恢復翻。If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. 我們若認自己的罪，神是信實的，是公義的。必要赦免我們的罪，使這個我們一切都不易。Now in resurrection life, we will be walking in continual fellowship with God。咁當我哋喺復活嘅生命裏邊咧，我哋會持續地同神有交通。Sin will never interrupt our fellowship again。永遠都唔會被罪咧去阻住曬啦。Well, let's consider the identity of human beings in these four periods of time。咁我哋去考慮一下人。嘅、um, identity， 
Okay. 身份喺呢四個階段裏邊嘅身份。Okay. Before the fall, Adam and Eve were stewards of God. 咁喺墮落之前咧，亞當同夏娃咧係神嘅管家。They have been given the job of caring for planet Earth and its creatures. 咁神就俾咗佢哋一個工作啦，就係要去管理地上面嘅誒生物啦。But after the fall, at least until they came to saving faith, they became the children of the devil. 咁至少墮落之後，至少喺佢哋得救之前咧，佢哋就成為咗誒、呃、撒旦嘅兒女。That's what Jesus says in John chapter eight. 咁呢個就係耶穌喺約翰福音八章所講嘅。Every unsaved person is a child of the devil. 每一個不信嘅人都係撒旦嘅兒女。But when an individual is saved, he changes his relationship and he becomes a child of God. 咁但係當佢得救之後咧，佢呢個嘅關係咧就有改變，然後就成為神嘅兒女。That's true of us now, and it won't change in resurrection life. 咁呢個對我哋依家都係係係咁樣啦，亦都唔會之後復活之後咧有改變嘅。Now let's think about the legal status of people。咁跟住我哋就講法律上人類法律上嘅地位。Before the fall, Adam and Eve were innocent。咁喺墮落之前咧，亞當同夏娃咧都係一個不知罪嘅狀態。They never committed sin。佢哋從來咧都冇犯過罪。And they hadn't yet broken God's one law。佢哋亦都冇去打破神任何一條嘅律例。Now after the fall, they, they became guilty and headed for damnation。墮之後咧，佢哋就成為有罪，然之後咧就邁向沉淪。Now what happens after regeneration？ 咁重重生之後發生咩事咧？ The individual is eternally forgiven。咁重生得救嗰個人咧，就永遠都係誒赦免，被神赦免。And the righteousness of Christ is imputed to the individual in a legal sense。然之後，神嘅義咧，就係一個律法嘅層面上邊，係被歸算到嗰個人身上。But in resurrection life, we will be actually Righteous. 咁但係喺復活了嘅生命裏邊咧，我哋咧會實質係誒成為義嘅義人。What about physical status? 咁肉身嘅狀態咧 ？Well, before the fall, Adam and Eve were capable of dying. 咁墮落之前咧，亞當同夏娃係可以死亡嘅。Now, for their children, they were born dying from the moment of birth. 咁佢哋嘅小朋友咧，一出世嗰一刻開始已經係誒慢慢死緊啦。And when you get saved, that process doesn't change. 而你得救之後咧，呢一個進程咧都係唔會改變嘅。But after glorification, after we get our resurrection bodies, we will be immortal. 咁但係當我哋得到我哋榮耀嘅身體之後咧，我哋就成為誒不朽啦。Death will never be something to worry about again。我哋永遠都唔會再需要擔心死亡。You know, I really like that thought。我都好中意呢一個嘅諗法。Um, some of you know I used to fly airplanes。有人知道啦，我以前係揸飛機啦。And I like to build things。我中意起嘢。Now, I've always thought it would be fun to design and build and fly my own airplane。我一直都覺得咧。有一日可以自己去整，然之後自己去揸一架飛機咧，係幾好玩嘅。And I'm confident that I could do it。而我都有信心，我可以做得到。But if I made a mistake and I did it now, I'd probably die。咁但係如果我依家做咧，然之後我犯錯咧，咁我可能會死嘅喎。Now in resurrection life, we might be able to fly. I don't without airplanes. I don't know。咁可能咧喺不榮耀嘅生命裏邊咧。我哋係唔需要飛機都可以飛啦，唔知啦。But maybe in the new heavens and new earth, I'll build my airplane。咁但係可能喺新天，我可以自己去整自己架飛機。I won't have to worry if it crashes。我亦都唔使擔心佢墜機。I won't be able to die。因為我死唔去。All right, let's move on to one last category。好，我哋去最尾一個誒 category。What's the relationship of human beings to sin？ 
人同神嘅關，人同罪嘅關係係點樣咧 ？Well, before the fall, Adam and Eve were without sin. 咁喺墮落之前咧，阿當同夏娃都係冇罪嘅。But they were capable of sinning. 但係佢哋係可以犯罪。We know they were capable because eventually they did sin. 我哋知道佢哋可以犯罪咧，因為佢哋最終咧係有犯罪。Now for an unsaved person, that person is sinful by nature. 咁對一個未信嘅人而言咧，佢係本身嘅屬性咧就係有罪啦。And he is incapable of not sinning. 而佢咧係不能夠不犯罪。Now there's a subtle change that takes place when you cross the line from being unregenerate to being regenerate. 咁當一個人由不信去到相信咧，佢有一個微妙嘅改變。You continue to be sinful. 咁你會係繼續咧係有罪性。But now you have a new capability. 但係依家咧，你有一個新嘅能力。You're capable of not sin. 你咧就係可以不犯罪。Now that doesn't mean that any mortal Christian will ever gain total victory over sin. 咁呢個咧就唔等於任誒任何一個基督徒咧可以完全地戰勝罪惡。But it does mean that God has changed us so that we can struggle successfully against sin. 咁但係意思係乜嘢咧？意思就係神咧係改變咗我哋，令到我哋可以同罪掙扎。And one day when we get to resurrection life, we will not only not be sinful, we will be incapable of sinning. 而有一日咧，當我哋去到榮耀嘅生命裏面嘅時候咧，我哋唔單止係冇罪啦，我哋亦都係誒唔能夠去犯罪。Now to flesh out these ideas, let's look at some New Testament references to spiritual death. 咁我哋去睇一睇一啲新約關於靈性死亡嘅一啲嘅經文。Ephesians chapter two verses one to five. 以弗所書二章一到五節。And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. 你们死在过犯罪恶之中，他叫你们活过来。那时你们在其中行事为人，随从今世的风俗。順服空中掌權者的首領，就是現今在叛逆之子心中運行的邪靈。我們從前也在也都在他們中間放縱肉體的私欲，隨著肉體和心中所喜好的去行，本為可怒之子，和別人一樣。But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love with which He loved us. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. 然而，神既有丰富的怜悯，因他爱我们的大爱，当我们死在过犯中的时候，便叫我们与基督一同活过来。你们得救是本乎恩。Notice what Paul is saying about spiritual death and sin. 咁留意一下保罗咧。點樣去講到靈性嘅死亡同埋罪惡 ？He says that sin produces deadness to God。佢話咧，當我哋犯罪嘅時候咧，唔係應該話，佢話咧，罪咧係產生向神死亡。I mean separation and alienation from God。咁呢個意思就係咧，同神分離同埋疏離。And he says that regeneration makes us alive to God. 咁佢話咧，重生咧係令到我哋向神咧係有生命。It brings us into a lasting relationship with Him. 佢重生咧係將我哋帶到去同一個同神有一個持續嘅關係。And so we see that the New Testament uses this concept of death that we saw back in the early chapters of Genesis in the same way. 咁所以我哋睇得到新約聖經入邊講到死亡咧
，係同創世記第三章入邊講到死亡咧係一樣嘅。To be dead to something or to someone is to be separated or alienated from it or him。咁向一件事或者人死亡咧，意思就係同佢分離或者疏離。In a similar way, to be alive to something or someone is to be in relationship with it or him. 相似地，向一件事或者人有生命活著，意思就係咧，同佢係有關係。Now let's look at another New Testament reference to spiritual death. 咁我哋再去睇一個新約嘅經文啦，係講到靈性嘅死亡。Romans chapter six, verses seven to eleven. 羅馬書七章六誒六章七到十一節。For he who has died has been freed from sin。因為已死的人是脱離了罪。Now if we die with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, having been raised from the dead, dies no more。我們若與我們若是與基督同死，就信必與他同活。因為知道基督既從死裏復活，就不再死，死也不再作他的主了。Now keep in mind here that this is physical death that's being discussed。咁喺呢度講緊咧係肉身嘅死亡。Death no longer has dominion over him。死也不再作他的主了。For the death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life that he lives, he lives to God. 他死是向罪死了，只有一次；他活著是向神活著。Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord。這樣，你們向罪也當看自己是死的，向神在基督耶穌裏卻當卻當看自己是活的。Now, Paul is telling us that, in a positional sense, we have died with Christ. 咁保羅同我哋講咧，就係話我哋喺位置上邊咧，我哋係同基督同死。In other words, in a positional sense, we experienced physical death on the cross. 咁即係喺位置上咧，我哋喺經我哋係經歷咗十字架上邊肉身嘅死亡。And that death has Freed us from the necessary control of sin. 而呢一個死亡咧，係讓我哋從罪嘅必要嘅操控下邊咧，係得到釋放。But that's not the end of the story. 咁但係件事咧，就唔係咁樣完結。Paul's also reminding us that practically we must constantly remind ourselves of our freedom from sin's control in order to defeat sin. 保羅，保羅提醒我哋咧。我哋係應該不斷去提醒自己，我哋係已經從罪得到釋放咧，以致我哋能夠戰勝罪惡。Let me summarize these ideas a little bit differently。咁我可以用另一個方法去歸納呢啲嘅概念。Regeneration allows us to function as if we are dead to sin。重生咧係讓人可以喺功能上好似向罪死亡一般。But our separation from sin is not total as long as we are in these mortal bodies. 咁但係我哋同罪嘅分離咧，直至我哋從呢個身體分離之後咧，都唔會係完全嘅分離嘅。At the present time, we are spiritually alive and eternally forgiven, but we're not yet fully redeemed. 咁喺現階段咧，我哋係靈性上係活著。但係我哋咧未係完全地係被誒贖、uh, 出嚟。We won't be fully redeemed until we depart from these mortal bodies and get our resurrection bodies。我哋唔會去完全去得贖啦，直到我哋得到我哋榮耀嘅身體。And therefore, in order to gain victory over sin, we must exert effort。咁所以如果要戰勝罪惡咧，我哋一定要去付出努力。And Paul reminds us again and again that our victory will not be complete until we leave these mortal bodies. 咁保罗咧就系不断去提醒我哋啦，我哋直直至我哋离开呢一个嘅身体之后咧，我哋都唔会系完全诶胜过罪恶嘅。
Well, let's move on to question two. In view of the answer to question one, how should we correctly interpret verses like Psalm 23, verse 3, Psalm 19, verse 7, which seem to suggest that the human spirit or soul is dead or asleep before regeneration? Here's Psalm 23, it's verses 1 to 3. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. What does that phrase, he restores my soul, mean? Nafshi Yasovet. Nafshi Yasovet. Okay. How should we understand this statement in context? Well, the word soul is nefesh. It's like the Greek word pneuma. It can mean soul or life. It can mean the self. It can refer to the immortal soul or spirit as a whole, to the person as a whole, or simply to physical life. Um, the verb restore is shuv. And this word can mean to turn back, to restore, to recover. It's a very flexible verb. Now the JPS Tanakh translates this as he renews my life. The Net Bible translates it, he restores my strength. If we study this text in context, David is just declaring how God has provided for and protected him through his life, including in physically dangerous situations. The phrase, he restores my soul, refers to David's physical and emotional life. God is fed, he's refreshed, he's protected David just as a shepherd does for his sheep. So in conclusion, the statement, he restores my soul here, has nothing to do with the condition of David's immortal soul or spirit. It does not suggest that a human soul or spirit is ever, either is ever dead or asleep, either before or after regeneration. Now let's look at Psalm 19.7. And we'll look at it in several translations. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. New King James Version. New King James Version. 
New American Standard, the law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. NASB, the 1984 NIV says the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. NIV 1984 Well, here's the phrase in Hebrew. We've got the same noun, we've got the same verb as we had in Psalm 23, verse 3. And you can see how the translations vary. They reflect the flexibility of this verb, shuv. The only English translation that would suggest the possibility of a dead soul is the NIV, which translates shuv as revive. Now it's interesting, the 2011 version of the NIV changed it. He refreshes the, it refreshes the soul. Sorry, my gun's on that full fold. Gunson NIV And the NET says preserves one's life. So to suggest that the unregenerate human soul or spirit is somehow dead or asleep is to build an obscure doctrine on mere translational possibilities. The idea of a dead or a sleeping soul is simply unbiblical. Now that brings us to question number three. How much emphasis should we put on the free will of the regenerated human spirit with regard to the work of the indwelling Holy Spirit in our sanctification and our conformity to the image of Christ? The New Testament is filled with commands to pursue sanctification. Some of these are middle voice commands and others are active. Here's Ephesians 5.18. And do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Romans 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Most of these are in the middle voice. Which describes man acting with God's implied assistance. One is in the active voice. Now in other places in the New Testament, we're told that sanctification is an action carried out by God himself. 
咁喺其他新約嘅經文裏面咧，我哋知道咧，成聖係神主動嘅工作。Romans 8:29。羅馬書八章二十九節。For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. 因為他預先所知道的人，就預先定下效法他兒子的模樣，使他兒子在許多弟兄中作長子。Or First Corinthians chapter six verses nine to eleven. 或者係哥林多前書六章九到十一節。Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? 你們豈不知不義的人不能承受神的國嗎 ？Do not be deceived. 不要自欺。Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. 無論是淫亂的、拜偶像的、奸淫的、作。指咩同的、親藍色的、偷竊的、貪婪的、醉酒的、辱罵的、勒索的，都不能承受神的國。That's a mouthful. 好多啊。But you were washed, but you were sank. I'm sorry. And such were some of you. 你們中間也有人從前是這樣。But you were washed, you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. 但如今你們奉主耶穌基督的名，並藉著我們神的靈，已經洗淨、成聖、清義了。So we see that these references to sanctification picture God acting、um, in the active voice and in the passive voice。咁喺呢啲經文入邊講到成聖咧，我哋睇得到神係用關心語態去行動啦，同埋用主動嘅語態去行動。Well, the answer to this question is that God calls us to actively pursue our sanctification with the understanding that as we do, the Holy Spirit will supply the power. 咁所以對呢一題嘅答案咧，就係神咧係想我哋追誒主動追求成聖，要嘅時候咧有一個認知，就係聖靈咧係俾我哋能力去追求成聖。Oops, sorry. Okay. Philippians chapter two, verses twelve to thirteen. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you both to will and to do for His good pleasure. 这样安来，我亲爱的弟兄。你們既是常順服的，不但我在你們那裏，就是我如今不在你們那裏，更是順服的，就當恐懼戰驚，作成你們得救的功夫，因為你們立志行事都是神在你們心裏運行，為要成就他的美意。Work out your own salvation means make an effort to express in your outward behavior. The transformation that God has accomplished on the inside. 成就你們得救嘅功夫嘅意思咧，即係咧用你嘅外在一啲行動去表現出神喺你裏邊已經成就咗嘅誒工作。This means that as believers, you and I have a duty to actively pursue godly living. 咁意思就係咧，作為信徒，我哋係有責任去主動追求。And when Paul says, "For it is God who works in you," he means that the power both to want to change and to actually change comes from God Himself. 咁当保罗话神在你们心里运行，立志行事都是神在你们心里运行嘅意思咧，即系无论系你嘅想要去改变。呢一個意志，或者係你實質去行動出呢個嘅改變咧，都係神嘅工作。In other words, God will motivate and empower you when you try. 換句話說，當你嘗試嘅時候咧，神咧係會去推動你，亦都係會去啊幫助你。Okay, let's look at one more passage. 咁我哋去睇多一段嘅經文。Second Peter chapter one verses two to seven. 
彼得后书一章一到七节。Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, as His divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. 愿因为平安。因你們認識神和我們主耶穌，多多的加給你們，神的神能已將一切關乎生命和敬虔的事賜給我們，皆因我們認識那用自己榮耀和美德照我們的主，因此他已將又寶貴又極大的應許賜給我們，叫我們既脱離世上從情慾來的敗壞，就得與神的性情有份。Now, Peter continues, but also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. 彼得继续，正因这缘故，你们要分外地殷勤，有了信心，又要加上德行。有了德行，又要加上知識；有了知識，又要加上節制；有了節制，又要加上忍耐；有了忍耐，又要加上敬虔；有了敬虔，又要加上愛弟兄的心；有了愛弟兄的心，又要加上愛眾人的心。So what has God provided for us？ 咁神賜給俾我哋乜嘢咧 ？He's provided justification through the cross of Christ. 咁佢賜俾我哋藉著十字架可以被稱為義啊 ！He's provided power for sanctification through the Holy Spirit who dwells in each one of us。藉著聖靈喺我哋裏邊嘅能力，佢俾我哋可以成聖啦。And He's provided means of sanctification。佢都係提供咗成聖嘅途徑。These include His Word。咁包括佢嘅話語 ，the privilege of prayer， 禱告呢個嘅誒誒 privilege，the fellowship of the saints， 聖徒嘅誒相通啦 ，our spiritual gifts， 我哋嘅屬靈恩賜啦 ，and the high priestly ministry of Christ， 同埋基督係大祭司嘅侍奉。In other words, God has provided us. Everything that we need, it's our duty to use what He has provided, trusting that He will also provide the power. 咁神已經將我哋所需要嘅一切俾到我哋咧，咁係我哋嘅責任去相信佢會俾到我哋我哋所需要嘅嘢咯。Now I have a question. 我有一個問題。May I have ten more minutes? <laughs> yes. Okay. It might not take that long. I want to share some additional perspectives on the process of spiritual growth and sanctification. 咁我想去再分享誒一啲額外嘅睇法啦，對於誒誒靈性嘅成長同埋成聖。Okay, first, I want to look at what happens when a person goes from being in Adam to being in Christ. 咁我想睇下一個人由喺亞當裏邊到喺基督裏邊會發生啲乜嘢事 ？Now this basically comes from Romans chapter five。咁呢個基本上係從羅馬書第五章到嚟啦。And also Romans eight twenty eight to twenty nine that we looked at earlier。亦都係從羅馬書第八章二十八到二十九節嗰度嚟嘅。Okay, here's Adam。咁呢個係亞當 in his spiritual deadness。喺佢嘅靈性嘅死性裏邊。And here's Christ in His resurrection body. 咁跟住咧，嗰個就係基督喺佢嘅復活嘅身體裏邊。Now we're going to be considering your experience as you go through being in Adam, even before you were born, until the day when you will be in Christ and like Christ. 咁我哋會睇到咧，就係我哋每一個人點樣由喺亞當裏邊慢慢經歷唔同嘅階段，直到我哋有一日就喺完全喺基督裏邊。So we're going to be looking at physical birth. 
我哋會睇到肉身嘅誕生啦 ，spiritual birth， 誒、呃、靈性生命嘅誕生啦 ，mortal death or physical death， 肉身死亡 ，and then resurrection， 然後復活。Now before you were born, you were unborn, but you were in Adam, theologically speaking。喺神學上去睇咧。你出生之前咧，你係喺亞當裏面。And then you lived a portion of your life as an unsaved person。咁跟住你就以一個不信嘅人去活你嘅生命啦。And now you are a saved person。而而家咧，你就係一個誒得救嘅人啦。And if you die before the rapture, you will experience the intermediate state between death and resurrection。咁如果你喺被提之前死亡嘅話咧，你會去經歷一個叫做誒，即、呃、係、就是、居間狀態。And ultimately you will be resurrected。然之後咧，最終你係會復活。Now in your unsaved life, you are a little atom。咁喺你未得救嘅時候嘅生命咧，你就係一個小亞當。You're living your life as a spiritually dead person。你嘅生命咧就係以一個靈性係死亡嘅人咁樣去活。And then the day came when you got saved。咁然之後咧就去到你得救嘅嗰日啦。And God begins to transform you. You're spiritually alive。神咧就開始去改變你，你咧靈性上咧就有生命。And if you cooperate with God in the process of sanctification, as you go on, you become more like Christ. 咁如果你喺呢個成聖嘅進程裏邊同神合作咧，你就越嚟越似基督啦。Now in the intermediate state, you will be without sin。咁喺居間狀態嘅時候咧，你咧就唔會有罪嘅。But you'll also be without a body。但係你咧亦都唔會有身體喎。Ultimately, you will be like a little Jesus。咁最終咧，你會好似一個小耶穌。In your character。喺你嘅品格上 ，so let's categorize these periods in your existence。咁我哋去將誒呢啲去分類啦。Before you were born, when you were in Adam, you were sinful by nature。咁你出世之前，當你喺亞當裏邊嘅時候咧，你嘅本性咧就係有罪。In your unsaved life, you were walking in sin。當你以一個未得救嘅人去生活嘅時候咧，你就喺最終行走。In your life now, you're battling against sin。咁喺你而家嘅生命裏邊咧，你就係同罪去爭戰。In the intermediate state, you will have no sin。喺居間狀態咧，你就會冇罪。And resurrection life, you will be glorified。然之後喺復活嘅生命裏邊咧，你就會得榮耀。So up until the moment of your spiritual birth, you were spiritually dead in Adam。咁直到你重生之誒之前嗰日咧，你喺亞當裏邊係靈性上死亡啦。And the moment that you got saved, you became spiritually alive in Christ。咁當你得救嗰一刻咧，開始你就係靈性上喺基督裏邊活著。And in the terminology of Romans chapter eight, verse nine. Before you were saved, you were in the flesh。咁用翻喺誒羅馬書第八章誒嘅字眼，佢話你得救之前咧，你係喺肉身裏邊。And the moment when you were saved, you became in the spirit。肉體裏邊，而你得救之後嗰一刻咧，你就變成咧喺靈裏邊。Now one more slide。最後一頁。Why is my Christian life such a struggle？ 點解我基督徒嘅生活生命係咁困難嘅咧 ？Well, consider what you were before you were saved。咁考慮一下你喺得救之前你係啲乜嘢 ？You were a spiritually dead person in mortal sinful flesh。你係一個靈性上死嘅人。然後喺一個會扭壞有罪嘅肉體當中。You are completely against God。你係完全咧同神係敵對嘅。And Paul describes this 
in Romans chapter 8, verse 8, when he says, Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Now I'm skipping over the intermediate state for simplicity. Think about what you will be after you are glorified. You'll be a spiritually alive person in an eternal, sinless resurrection body. You will be completely for God. And Paul describes this in Romans 8 29 when he says, Whom he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. But where are you now? You are a spiritually alive person living in mortal sinful flesh. You are a half dead, half alive zombie. Paul describes this in Romans chapter 7, verse 9, when he says, For the good that I will to do, I do not do, but the evil that I will not to do, that I practice. You live in a state of conflict. And this is why we must make an effort to pursue godliness. God has given us everything that we need. But we must obey his command to use what he has provided. Alright, let's pray together. Father, thank you for the wonderful thing that you have done for us in sending your son to the cross. Thank you that he rose from the dead to prove that his work was complete. Thank you that you have provided us everything we need for life and godliness. Father, please help us to understand the amazing transformation that you have already uh, brought to us, but help us to remember also that there's more to come. Teach us to love godliness. Teach us to want to be more like your son. And give us the courage to take the initiative to use all of the resources that you've provided to us. Thank you for life in Christ. Amen.